Hello there, this is Dave Allen for Mac 20 Questions and for Video Magical, and today I want to have a look at working with audio in Final Cut Pro 10. And one of the things that you are very likely to want to do is to do some ducking. You don't have the automatic ducking that you'd find in iMovie or maybe working with the editing in ScreenFlow, but it is pretty easy to do some manual ducking anyway. So first of all, what you can do is you can go to your timeline here. Let's move the uh, playhead over to there. And I want to have some ducking happening there. So I need to put some keyframes in. So let's select that first of all. So we have our playhead here where we want to do our ducking. And what you can do is you can go up to this part here into the audio section. And you can say that you want to put a keyframe in there. We can go to a couple of frames on. And then we can do that again with another keyframe there. Then you can take this keyframe and you can move it down. So let's put it around about minus 30 decibels and that will work out quite nicely. Hello there, this is Dave Allen for Mactonic Questions and today I want to... So there you can see our ducking is working quite nicely, but it can be done a little bit quicker than that using other means. So let's just um, do a command Z on that there, bring it back to as it was. Get rid of those keyframes as well. So what you could do is you could just go to your range selection. We're going to do a range selector now on this audio selection here. So I'm going to just grab that and move it across like that. So now we have that range selected. Press the A key back to the select tool. And now what I can do is I can just bring that down. And it puts in the keyframes for me. So that's a little bit easier. Although it doesn't do it quite right because it's um, brought this here. So it's given us a fade back in at the end here. I don't want that fade back in at the end there. So what I'd have to do there is I'd have to just bring that back down so it faded out rather than fade it back in at the end. So that's a fairly easy way to do some ducking. Quite nice, hey? And what else can you do with this? You can take a keyframe that you've got in there already and you can move it along like that so that you can change how much of a slope you have with your ducking so you can see in this section here how it's slowly getting quieter and quieter the gain is being reduced i'll choose one without a transition at the end of it so i'll choose this one here so what i want to do on this one here is we're going to have a fade out at the end of this so i move the cursor to that point there where the cursor changes shape look and i move this to the left and that's going to give me a fade out and press on that so that you don't miss any more videos from Mac 20 Questions. And also, why don't you click on the like? So that's how easy it is to put a fade out there. And I could do the same there with the fade in too. Obviously, you're a bit limited with the length of clip on here as to, as to how far you can go with it. So. so what you might want to do as well with this is you might want to see the animations on the audio. If I do Control a that means that will show the audio animation for me. I've no animations in there at the moment. This is just done with the... Uh, the keyframing. Okay, so what I'll do with this one here is we're going to add an effect to this. I'm going to add the alien effect. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to select it and I'm going to press Control A so that we can see our animation. So what we can do with this bit here, we can see how things are changing with that audio effect. So for instance, on this bit here, we've got an amount of 50% being added there. So let's uh, add a keyframe there. We'll move this across just a wee bit and you can see the keyframe has been added there look and we can do the same here we can add a keyframe this way we can see more of the keyframing area so i press the option key down and click on that and that'll give me a keyframe as well so what i can do then is i can manually bring in the amount of alien effect to the voice down so let's just start playing this bit here now i had right room so we've still got some alien effect happening on that there, but less. So let's just change that and move it up instead. So let's play that again now, without the music underneath. So you can see you can change the amount of alien effect that you have there in this audio animation part here. So that's how you can do something there with audio on your Final Cut Pro 10 project. And we'll have another look at audio on Final Cut Pro 10 in the next video. Do subscribe to the Wizard Gold YouTube channel so that you know when the next videos are coming out for Amazing iPad, Mac 20 Questions or for Video Magical. And keep up to date so you don't miss any.
Pa bone.